you know so far? I think uh, Coach is going to use me in a variety of ways, and um, especially as a as a you know small ball five four sometimes, and bringing the ball up too. So I just got to be ready for anything. All right, he is ready for anything. And Max, I want to ask you: Do you think Katie is going to be the most scrutinized player in the NBA this year? Oh yeah, easily. It's going to be KD. First of all, he bravely and I think um, smartly chose the Brooklyn Nets, right? Like he leaves the Warriors and this dynasty for which he rightly didn't get the credit he wanted because he joined a 73-win team with Steph, Clay, Dre, etc. If you add any all-star to that team, they can't lose. They cannot lose. And KD just ain't any all-star. So winning the championships didn't prove the thing that winning a championship is supposed to prove. And on some level, KD had to recognize that. So he said, okay, watch this. I'm going to go to a team that never sniffs a championship. And of course, you need to bring at least one more great player. No one wins by themselves. And I'm going to do it there. I'm going to do it the biggest media market in the world. And, and, and for the team that's considered the little brother in that town, in the borough of Brooklyn, rings bells around the world. And he's doing it off uh, an Achilles. Like... That's a huge, gutsy move by KD. If he wins a championship when he's no longer at his best necessarily, he proves greatness in a way he never did. And for that reason, Stephen A., we're all going to be watching him. And don't tell me he's seven feet with a 20,000-foot wingspan and he'll average 25 in his sleep, Stephen A., because that may be true. He can average 25 in his sleep. Bernard King came back from the ACL way back in the day. He can still average 20. He wasn't Bernard King anymore. Won the same guy. We're all watching to see if KD is still KD. We're all watching to see if he is or even if he's not quite. Can he lead a team that has no business there, like not like the Warriors were, to a championship, at least to a finals? Can he get out of the East? And Stephen A., guess what? Your boy Kyrie, when he comes out, talk, when he releases a statement, I'm not going to answer any questions, I have to move differently, guess what? He's putting that all on KD. When that dude's like, I'm not going to lead, I'm not going to face the media, all that goes to KD, <clears throat> who is the best player on the team, the leader on the team, it's his Brooklyn Nets, and he is the most scrutinized player in the NBA this year. You couldn't be more wrong about this particular subject. You are very, very wrong for a few reasons. Number one, let's get to Kyrie first because there's another player that's going to be heavily scrutinized. One of them is going to be Kyrie Irving, uh, and it's because of what you just brought up. And this is a lesson that Kyrie Irving needs to know. He needs to know this, and all of these modern-day athletes need to know this with their Twitter accounts and Instagram accounts, and they get to DM folks and all of this other stuff. Because of that, for the most part, the media doesn't get paid to talk to you. They get paid to talk about you, especially when you sit in the kind of chairs that we're sitting in. So understand that when we look at KD, knowing that KD is coming off an Achilles tear, we expect him to average 25 because I think he could do that on one leg in his sleep. He's that lethal offensively. But guess what? Okay. The fact of the matter is when we talk about the Brooklyn Nets uh, being a title contender, KD is going to give you what KD is going to give you. The question is, what's Kyrie going to give you? Is he going to play more than 20 games? Is he going to have... A negative effect on the locker room. I never said that about him, but you have, Max. So if you've got those kind of questions about his attitude and his health, okay, we know what Kyrie can do in terms of being a showstopper. But even when he was on the court and he was a showstopper, you talked about how the team looked better without him because they said they stood around and played the role of spectators when he was on the court with them. So is that going to be a similar circumstance with KD there? I don't think so. But it's going to be scrutinized. And if the Brooklyn Nets are struggling, they ain't going to look at KD. Ain't nobody going to look at KD. Nobody going to look at KD and be like, what's KD doing? We know what he's going to do because we know what he's always done. The question is, who's going to uh. perform around him? And we ain't going to blame Spencer Dinwiddie or Karis LeVert for any kind of troubles they have. We're going to look right at Kyrie Irving. That's number one. Here's the second player, Max. Are you ready for this one, Max? Because this is near and dear to your heart, Max Kellerman. Mm -hmm. Paul George, that guy is going to be scrutinized. Why? Because Paul George obviously has struggled at, on occasions in the playoffs. He specifically struggled in a game seven when he scored just 10 points on four of 16 shooting. And the reason why I bring up Paul George, I will admit, Max, it has everything to do with you. 
because it brings me to Kawhi. You see what I'm saying? Oh, <laughs> Kawhi Leonard, you know, the best player in the world before you said whoops and oops. What was it? Whoops or oops? Whichever one worked for you, man. Whichever Fifth one. Best. I said it was oops. I, I, I heard you say oops, but if you want to say it was whoops, all right, so be it. Whoops, oops. It doesn't matter, Max. It doesn't matter. I'll take either one. <laughs> in the end, because this is Kawhi it Leonard. Is. Is this is Kawhi Leonard? Why is Paul George going to be scrutinized? Okay, well Doc Rivers is gone. Um, Kawhi Leonard is still there, and you, Paul George, is the guy. You're the guy that Kawhi Leonard held the Clippers hostage to get. Could have went to the Lakers. Could have joined LeBron and AD. But as Max would say, and am I doing it right, Max? Oh, he went to the. Clippers, oh, they said the hell with that. I'm not trying to be your son. I'm not trying to be your little brother. They were I, me. I'm trying to take over. That's what he did, right? So he went up there, and he took over with those commercials. He took over with the promotions. He took over during the regular season when he played, right up until they ran into Jamal Murray, who dropped 40 on them in a game seven. So what I'm saying to you is that if Kawhi is who you say he is, because of all he forced the Clippers to do, giving up five first-round picks and Danilo Gallinari and Shea Gilgis Alexander and second-round picks too, all to get that one guy, which is Paul George. And now you got Ty Lue as your coach, you got Kawhi returning, and we got Paul George speaking to all the smoke. Here's the problem. My brothers Matt Barnes and Steven Jackson telling them, yo, it was a They're tough killing. year last year, I'm going to do something this year. Oh, we going to watch Paul George. I'm rooting for him because he's one of the best people I know. One of the best professionals I know. I love Paul George. But I'm rooting for him. But he got to show up because all of us are going to be watching. Here's the problem with what you're saying, Stephen A. Sure. Here's the problem. We've already made up our not minds about Paul George in the playoffs. We've already made up our I minds. The, the sample size is big enough, right? He has, to change, he has to change our minds. Most of us have. Like, are you counting on Paul George in the playoffs? You're not. If he does I'm something, you're like, oh, look at that. He's, he's, like, gotten better at that. Well, okay, but most of us are. I know it's your opinion, but most people are like, uh, well, you know what, Paul, playoff Paul George, right? The opposite of playoff Rondo. He gets worse under pressure. Okay, look, he's hit the side of the backboard. You bring it up. And what does that all lead to? It leads you right back to Kawhi. It leads you to the number one guy. See, that's why. So, but what I'm saying is KD is the number one guy. It's about him. People like you have compared KD to LeBron. Can KD ever be the LeBron? Of, uh, no, I don't think he can. But you've said he is. He's on LeBron's level. Yes, I do believe right? that. He's number. He's like one in one A or, or one in two, right? Yep. It's about KD, not Kyrie. And let me tell you, if when all the scrutiny you're talking about Kyrie goes back to KD again, I'll tell you why. What did LeBron do with Kyrie? What did he do with Kyrie? LeBron with Kyrie went to a finals. Should have won, but the, but but hit, Kyrie got hurt. Uh, won a finals. And then went to two more finals, right? Against in the super East. duper teams. In the East. Don't uh, get me in, started in, with that. In yeah, the East. Listen, Where was the competition? Listen, Stop. Nevertheless, it. he had to beat he had to beat the Warriors, who were the best team in the world almost ever, right? And he had to beat them, and he did. The point is, that's what LeBron did with Kyrie. What's KD he did it without him with too. Kyrie? If Kyrie implodes, if Kyrie implodes. You know, oh, wait a minute. I thought KD was supposed to be able to handle this. I thought KD and Kyrie were going to get, get along better I, Max, than remember, LeBron I'm going and back Kyrie. To what you said. No, the remember, scrutiny I'm going of Kyrie goes said. back to KD. Remember, I'm going yeah. back to what you said. Okay. Remember how you said, you know how you, oh, no, no. You always say.